Good morning to you, to you, and to you. Good morning, good morning to you and to you. Good morning, Miss Fanny. Good morning, Miss Ari. Good morning, Miss Ari. Good morning, Miss Fanny. Good morning, good morning to you and to you. Hello, Mother Stuck students. How are you today? Today, we will do some activities at home. We will sing a song, read a storybook, and do some grass and fun water activities. Now, Miss Farin, we will read your story. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. 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 The Very Greedy Bee by Steve Smallman and Jack Tickle. In a busy, busy beehive lived a very greedy bee. All the other bees worked hard making honey and cleaning the hive. But the greedy bee spent all day gobbling pollen and guzzling nectar. Slurp, slurp, burp, slurp, slurp, burp. The greedy bee wouldn't share his nectar with anyone. He wouldn't even let a tired ladybird sit on his flower. Find your own flower, he shouted. This one is mine. And when one day the greedy bee found a meadow full of the biggest, juiciest flowers he had ever seen, he decided not to tell anyone. Yummy, he buzzed. Lots and lots of flowers and they're all for me. Wow. The greedy bee whizzed and buzzed from flower to flower, slurping and burping and growing fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. At last, his tummy was full and he settled down on a big pink flower in the warm yellow sunshine and he fast asleep. When the greedy bee woke up, it was dark. He tried to fly, but his tummy was so stodgy and podgy that he went down instead of up and landed. Piff, bang, thump on the ground below. Oh, I'm scared, cried the greedy bee. And I don't know how to get home. Then he saw two glowing eyes in the long grass. He, he, he cried. A monster is coming to eat me. But it wasn't a monster. It was two friendly fireflies. Their buttons glowing in the dark. What's wrong? They asked. I'm too full to fly, wailed the greedy bee, and I can't walk home in the dark. Follow us, said the fireflies, and they all set off on the long, long journey home. Through forest of flowers and squelchy mud, over hills and under hollows, Trudged the greedy bee. He had never walked so far and he was very tired. Soon be there, caught the fireflies kindly. Then they heard a whooshy, watery noise. I'm almost 
goes home, cried the greedy bee excitedly. It's the stream. And it was, but his hive was on the other side of it. Oh dear, how will I ever get across? He sniffed sadly. We'll help you, said a tiny ant with a big leaf. The ant and his friends flipped one of their leaves into the water. Jump in, they cried. Then, helped by the fireflies, the greedy bee and the ants made their way, splashing and splashing over the other side of the stream. Hooray! I'm home! cried the greedy bee. Wherever have you been? called the other bees. I overslurped, said the greedy bee. I would never have got home if my new friends hadn't been so kind. So now I'm going to share my best honey with them. Would you like some too? Great, said the other bees. Let's have a party. Next, Miss Ari will give you tutorials on other activities. See you! Berikut adalah tutorial IPL Montessori Opening and Closing Battles. Berikut cara memainkannya. Aktivitas selanjutnya adalah Toys Hide and Seek. Kita dapat menggunakan mainan atau boneka yang ada di rumah. Mami dapat menyembunyikan mainan tersebut di tempat-tempat yang dapat dijangkau anak dengan berjijit, merangkap, atau merayap, jongkok, dan lain sebagainya. Have fun kids! Bye!